Madrid is preparing for the arrival of dozens of world leaders at the NATO summit. Jens Stoltenberg, head of the alliance, says it will be a historic and transformative gathering for the grouping. But while NATO allies try to show unity in the face of Russian aggression towards Ukraine, there is discord within. Finland and Sweden recently applied to join the alliance, but their bids are being blocked by NATO member Turkey. Leaders from these three countries will meet before the summit officially gets underway. Rosie Burchard reports from the Spanish capital. NATO leaders and their guests gathering here in Madrid are supposed to be rewriting the future of the alliance and the sun may be shining over the Spanish capital but there's a big question mark looming over this summit and indeed over what comes next for NATO. Several diplomats I've spoken to say they hope this event could be the moment for leaders to give Stockholm and Helsinki the green light and welcome them into the club but that's now far from certain. Ankara accuses Sweden Sweden and Finland of not doing enough to fight terrorism and offering safe haven to members of terrorist groups. Sweden's Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson insists, however, that her country is engaged in serious efforts. Sweden condemns terrorism in the strongest possible terms. We are unequivocally committed to the fight against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. And as allies, we will be fully committed to NATO's NATO counterterrorism policy and take active parts in these efforts. So far, that kind of rhetoric hasn't proved enough to convince Turkey. NATO chief Stoltenberg, who's a mediator in these debates, has sought to speak to Ankara's concerns, noting that Turkey has suffered more terrorist attacks than any other NATO ally. Now, Russia, meanwhile, sees NATO as a threat to its security, though that's something that alliance members strongly refute. If Ankara does drop its veto and Finland and Sweden do sign up, the length of NATO's borders with Russia will more than double. And that's something that's seen as a direct consequence of the invasion of Ukraine. Rosie Birchard, CNA, Madrid.